This tutorial will show you how to collect and display data from vibrating wire sensors using Agent Software and LC2 data loggers. Prior to viewing this tutorial, please familiarize yourself with the basics of the Agent Software program by reading the instruction manual or watching the Using Agent Software with LC2 Data Loggers tutorial. If you have not already done so, create a project in the Agent program and add an LC2 that is currently reading one or more vibrating wire sensors. Then perform a data download. Start by selecting a project. Then click on the blue gear that corresponds to the desired LC2. Next, click Sensors on the left side of the screen. Select the model of sensor that is being read by the LC2. Click Edit to open the Edit Sensor dialog. Start by giving the reading sensor a name. Then enter the serial number of the vibrating wire sensor connected to the node. Clicking the Get Calibrations button will retrieve the calibration factors for the specified serial number from Geocon's online calibration database. This feature is only available for sensors manufactured after 2016. When the Get Calibrations feature is used, most of the fields in the Edit Sensor dialog will be automatically populated with the correct information. For demonstration purposes, this tutorial will cover the functions of all the fields contained within the Edit Sensor dialog. Select the category that matches the type of vibrating wire sensor being read. Choose Load for Load Cells, Strain for Strain Gauges, Pressure for Pressure Transducers, etc. The calibration units should be set to match the gauge factors taken from the calibration report. This will be covered in more detail later in the tutorial. The Output Units field determines the type of engineering units the data from the vibrating wire sensor will be displayed in. Once an output unit is selected, the multiplier will automatically populate with the factor needed to convert the calibration units to the selected output units. Offset is an optional constant that can be added to the sensor output to adjust the data. For example, if a piezometer installed at a site elevation of minus 40 feet is reading plus 2 feet of water, entering an offset of minus 40 would adjust the reading to minus 38 feet, the actual water elevation of the sensor. The description and notes field can be used to record any additional information about the vibrating wire sensor, such as location, installation date, etc. The start date is automatically set to the first time data was collected from the sensor. The end date should only be entered if the vibrating wire sensor is removed. To change the dates, click Change. Enter a date or select one from the calendar. When finished, click Done. To determine what color the line representing the sensor will be on the completed chart, click the box next to choose a color. Select the standard color from the left side of the menu, or use the color palette on the right to create a custom color, and then click Choose. The default gauge factor of 1 can be used to output the data in digits. To output the data in other engineering units, the gauge factors found on the Geocon calibration report provided with the vibrating wire sensor must be entered. Make sure that the gauge factors taken from the calibration report match the calibration units selected in Agent. For example, if the calibration units are set to PSI, then the gauge factors taken from the calibration report must also be in PSI.
Enter the linear gauge factor from the calibration report. Next, enter the vibrating wire sensor's initial on-site zero reading. If using the LC2 to take the initial zero reading, rather than a readout such as a GK404 or GK405, click the Pick Zero button. Select the date the initial zero reading was taken. Then select the applicable reading from the list. And then click OK. It is very important to enter an accurate on site zero reading. This reading will be used for all subsequent data reduction. Make sure to prepare the sensor for the reading as described in the sensor manual. Consult the sensor manual for more information on establishing an initial zero reading. For greater accuracy, the polynomial equation can be used in place of the linear equation. Enter polynomial factors A and B from the calibration report, making sure to use the factors that match the selected calibration units. Next, click on Calculate C. Enter the initial on-site zero reading taken with the vibrating wire sensor, then click OK. Agent will calculate and display the value of factor C based on the information entered. For optimum accuracy, or if ambient temperature changes are large, a temperature correction can be applied. Enter the appropriate thermal factor from the calibration report based on the calibration units that have been selected in agent. Enter the temperature in degrees Celsius that was recorded when the on-site zero reading was taken. When finished editing the reading sensor, click Save. The Edit Sensor dialog box will close, and a message will appear at the top of the screen, stating that there are pending setting changes that need to be uploaded to the data logger. This message will also appear when changes are made to the thermistor sensor. To change the thermistor settings, click Edit. Edit the sensor name if desired. The Units field determines what unit of temperature the data will be displayed in. The Description and Notes field, Start and End Dates, and Color all function the same as with the reading sensor. When finished editing the thermistor sensor, click Save. Changes made in the sensor screen will not take effect until they have been uploaded to the LC2. To upload the changes, click Commands on the left side of the screen. Next, click the Upload Settings button to send the changes to the data logger. The Pending Changes warning will disappear, indicating that the changes have been saved to the LC2. Create a chart, select a project, then select the LC2 the chart will be created for. Next, click Chart Settings on the left side of the screen, and then click Add Chart. Enter a name for the chart in the Edit Chart dialog box. Then click OK to create the chart. Charts that have been added to a device will be shown in the Chart Settings screen. To add sensors to a chart, click on the chart name and then click Add Sensor. Select the sensor from the list to add 
and then click OK. Once the sensor has been added to a chart, it will be shown in the chart settings screen beneath the chart name. Repeat the previous steps until all desired sensors have been added to the chart. To view a chart, click View Charts on the left side of the screen. All the charts associated with the device will be shown. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information on installing and using LC2 data loggers, refer to the product instruction manual, which can be accessed within the agent program by clicking on the question mark at the top of the screen. Please check out the other tutorials available at geocon.com.